So let's discuss a problem to understand the effect of temperature on the rate of a reaction. Now the reaction that we have here is Haber's process which is the synthesis of ammonia an exothermic reaction and it reaches equilibrium. It is given that at 500 kelvins the rate constant is 0 0.0001 second inverse which is 1 into 10 power minus 4 second inverse and at 600 kelvins the rate constant is 1 into 10 power minus 3 second inverse. Okay, now what is the activation energy for the reaction? So we basically need to use the Arrhenius equation that describes the effect of temperature on the rate of a reaction, correct? And the Arrhenius equation is K is equal to A into E power minus Ea by RT, where K is the rate constant, A is the frequency factor or the Arrhenius factor also called the pre-exponential factor. So it basically accounts for the frequency or the number of collisions that result in a reaction and also the proper orientation that is required of the molecules for the reaction to take place. Because you see, not all the collisions will result in a desired product. So this is what A accounts for. Now Ea is the activation energy that we need to find out. It basically represents the minimum energy barrier that the reactants must overcome in order to form products. Now R and T are constants and this term of E power minus Ea by RT refers to the fraction of the molecules that have a kinetic energy greater than the activation energy. So here we have a brief description of what Arrhenius equation is. Now we can also write this equation in this form where ln k is equal to minus Ea by Rt plus ln A. And when we plot ln k against 1 by t, we get a straight line with negative slope of m is equal to minus Ea by R and y intercept of ln A. So let's now use this equation along with the information given in our question to figure out the activation energy for the reaction. And when we do that, we get two different equations ln k2 is equal to minus Ea by Rt2 plus ln A and ln k1 is equal to minus Ea by Rt1 plus ln A. Now the values of t1, t2, k1, k2 are already given to us and you will see that when we subtract equation 2 from equation 1, the ln A terms get cancelled because A is constant especially at narrow temperature range and where the delta T is not very large and this would finally give us ln K2 by K1 is equal to Ea by R into 1 by T1 minus 1 by T2. And by substituting these values in this equation, we get the final answer as activation energy is approximately equal to 57.4 kilojoules per mole. So now that you know the activation energy for the reaction, can you figure out the rate constant for the reaction at 700 kelvins? So I'm going to let you pause the video here and try giving it a shot, okay? Now to find out the rate constant, we once again have to use the Arrhenius equation. ln K2 by K1 is equal to Ea by R into 1 by T1 minus 1 by T2. And we know that at T1 is equal to 600 kelvins, K1 is already given to us. T2 is 700 kelvins and for which we need to figure out the K2 value and activation energy we already found out in the previous calculation as 57.4 kilojoules per mole. Now by substituting these values into this equation, we get the final answer as K2 rate constant is approximately equal to 0 0.005 second inverse. So let's discuss one more interesting point before wrapping up this video, okay? Considering the exothermic nature of the Haber's process, how do we apply the Lee Chatelier's principle when the temperature is increased? So for an exothermic reaction, we can consider the heat evolved as one of the products as well. So the reaction would be N2 plus 3H2 forms 2 NH3 plus heat. And now if we increase the temperature, according to Lee Chatelier's principle, the system will adjust and restore equilibrium to negate this effect or to remove the extra added heat here, correct? And as a result, the equilibrium will shift in the backward direction that is towards the reactants and eventually we end up with more amount of reactants than our desired product. Now this might seem pretty interesting just after how we saw the effect of temperature on the rate of reaction kinetically, correct? We know that when we increase the temperature, the rate of the reaction increases due to kinetic effect. But 
you have to remember that when we talk about a reaction it has to be holistic we cannot just talk about the kinetic factor and not think about the thermodynamics of the reaction we have to look at these two in tandem which means when we actually synthesize ammonia industrially via Haber's process we need to balance both this kinetic as well as the thermodynamic effect and as a result a compromise temperature of about 400 to 500 degrees celsius is employed and it was found that at this temperature there is sufficient energy for the reactants to have enough number of collisions and result in the formation of products at the same time it favors an equilibrium position that increases or maximizes the yield of the product ammonia unfortunately it's not this temperature that comes to a rescue we also have the effect of pressure in this reaction you see when we talk about pressure we take into account the number of moles of reactants and products thus by increasing the pressure we shift the equilibrium to that direction which have fewer number of moles and you can see that here we have fewer number of moles in the product side and as a result increasing the pressure increases the concentration of a product